praise the name of Jesus. I am so thankful that I am being used for God's honor and His glory today. That this podcast is going out all over the world, giving people the truth in God's Word, pointing people to look to God's Word for guidance. You know, my prayers come out of Ephesians, the first chapter in the 15th verse. It says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised God Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Those are my earnest prayers for all of us. Every person that walks the face of this earth, that we would have the eyes of our understanding opened Oh, opened to God's love and mercy and grace. Oh, and strength and victory that he has given each and every person that will receive it. They will just believe him. Just believe his word. Now, let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I praise you and I thank you. I glorify you in this podcast, and everything that's said and done, I give you all the praise and glory for it all. Holy Spirit, touch my mind, use my mouth, that I might be the light, the instrument that I should be in this world to give God what he deserves every day of my life, and that is the glory and the honor for all that is done in this podcast. Touch hearts, touch lives. Help these people that listen to this podcast. Help them to understand that your word, God's word, is true above all opinion. Glory to your holy name, Father. Guide and direct, and everything that's said and done will give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. I'm going to be talking about something. We've been talking about it for the last couple of days and a and, uh, little bit different direction, but you know, we've been talking about being healed and, and what God's promises are. And, and, and I, I brought this up. The Lord brought this to my attention this morning. Galatians 3, 13. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law 
being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I'm going to read that in the New Living Translation. It says, But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the Scriptures, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Now, I want you to, today, I'm going to give you a little bit of what I think would help you so much in your life is for you to read what the curse of the law is. Now, Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 is the blessing, is the blessing. And uh, 15 through, let's see, 68 is the curse. But I'm going I'm 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 to read you the, the 61st verse of Deuteronomy 28. It says, Now this is what we are redeemed from. And the Lord will afflict you with every sickness and plague there is, even those not mentioned in this book of instruction until you are destroyed. That's the curse of the law. That is the curse of the law. That was the New Living Translation. The King James Version said, Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in this book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou art destroyed. We, that's what the law brought to the people of this world when it was uh, put on this earth. And that was a curse because man could not It wasn't that he would not. He could not fulfill that law. I mean, it's something that that multitude millions have tried to live by the law and to do the best they know how. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I, I earnestly desire for myself and you and anybody else that listens to this podcast, for us to strive to be as good ethical, moral people as we can. But I'm going to tell you only one has ever fulfilled that law and lived perfectly, and that's Jesus Christ. And Galatians 3.13 says, He has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, now that, that's what that's what we 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 fail to understand, and religion puts all that burden on your back, and 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 religion says that that God makes you sick to teach you something. That's a lie of the devil. I promise you, that's a lie of the devil. John ten and sin, ten said, "The thief cometh for to steal, kill, and destroy." But Christ said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That's what Jesus Christ came to do, to give you life. Now, he didn't didn't come down here to heal just a select few. He died and took the stripes on Calvary's cross to heal us all. But it's up to us to receive that, to receive that healing. And he, he redeemed us. We are redeemed from the curse of the law. And part of that curse is, is the, the sickness that comes out of it. And, and that sickness is a direct, a, a direct connection, has a direct connection to Satan. Satan's the one that does all this making people sick. And, and, and it's just, it's awful. I get so... I get upset a lot of times when I hear people say, well, it's just God's will. He's just trying to teach me something. Look here, God don't need, to t- no, God don't need sickness to teach you something. He's not going to throw sickness on you to make you wake up. He reserves the right for you. He reserved the right for you in Genesis 1.26 for you to do as you pleased on this earth. But he is also given us a handbook, an instruction manual, if you will, for us to live triumphantly, victoriously in this earth that we live in today. 
through him, not through our goodness, not through anything that we've done, but through him. He has redeemed us. I want you to say that today. I am redeemed by the curse of the law, from the curse of the law. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Why? Because Jesus died on the cross for all of us to be redeemed. For all of us to be redeemed. But it's up to us to receive that redemption. Like I said, God give us full control of this, this earth that we live on. Genesis 1.26. I want to read it. I'm not going to try to quote it. I'm going to read it. I want, I want God's word to be first and foremost in this podcast. I'm going to read this. I want you to understand that in Genesis 1, first chapter of Genesis, he gave mankind control over this earth that we live in. Genesis 1, 26 said, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. He gave us full control. Dominion is control. Full control over everything, over this entire earth. It is up to us. It is up to us to allow the the goodness of God to come on us. It's up to us to receive that. We God's not going to make us do anything. I've heard it over and over and over and over. God's in control. God's in control. Look here. If God was in control, everyone would be born again today. This world wouldn't be in the shape it's in. Please do not, do not, I repeat, please do not allow yourself to be fooled into blaming God for all the the awful things that go on in this earth. My wife and I, my mom, my wife, my daughter, all went to the movies last night and seen that movie Unplanned. Now I it just it I've just fought back tears through this movie because I mean they just they just destroying cutting them up just pulling them apart babies thousands of them a day all through this nation over sixty million million children have been killed since the early seventies through abortion. And how anybody could stand back and say that is God's will, I have no idea. They are religiously blind, religiously blind and biblically ignorant to think that that is is anywhere near God's will. It's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should, should come to repentance. And you can, you can. This whole this podcast, the whole name of it is the prodigal son. If there was ever a picture of the prodigal son in the dictionary, my face would be right beside it because I'm I'm the one that came home spiritually bankrupt, and God welcomed me back home without any without any shame or condemnation thrown at me by Him. Now, there was some that some religious people that thought they, 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 you know, that it was their job to, you know, to bring that up, but God never did. He loved me. He cared for me. And whether you've been born again and are away from God or whether you've never been born again at all, all you have to do to be redeemed from the curse of the law is give your heart and life to Jesus Christ. Confess Him as Lord of your life. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and the mouth, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. 1 John 1 and 9 said, if we confess with our mouth, 
or if we confess our sins. I've got to, I'm gonna to have to read that one. I read it yesterday. I want to read it again. First John one and nine said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Won't you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior if you've never been born again? If you're away from him, confess your sins to him. He's faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And and whether whichever side of the fence you're on today, I want you to know that you can be redeemed. You can be redeemed. All you have to do is to accept Jesus as Lord of your life because he redeemed us from the curse of the law. It thrills me to know that I what I couldn't do, he did for me. Glory to his name. Glory to the name of Jesus today. Won't you allow Jesus Christ to redeem you from the curse of the law? We are redeemed through the blood of Jesus Christ. Accept that redemption today. Accept Jesus Christ as Lord of your life. If you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. I want to know what God is doing in your life. I want to know the miracles that he has set forth in your life. I want to to hear the good news of what God has done in your life. If you've been born again through this podcast, but email us, get in touch with us, that we might hear and understand what God is doing in your life. Get in touch with us. Let us, we want to know what God is doing. What, God, what you want God to do. I want to know. I want to hear from you. I want to see and understand that, that this word that is being put out through this podcast, oh, I know without a shadow of a doubt, God said it. He said that my word does not return unto me void. And I know it's going out, accomplishing that which he has set forth for it to accomplish. Glory to his name. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. All these links will be in the notes. The notes that you can that you can get in contact with us. You can download the app. Whatever you need to be doing in your life, there's a, a, a version link there to put version on your phone or your, on your iPad or in your computer, whatever you're listening at. We want to get the Word of God in you. We want to see God's Word manifest in your life and, and, and just, just lead you and guide you into a life of, of love and care for everyone that you come in contact with. Glory to His name today. Won't you, won't you allow Jesus Christ to be Lord of your life? Go to our, our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigalson.com